Hey guys, this is Austin, and today I'm here with a video going over some of my reasons on why you should get an SSD. So if you've been watching the channel for any length of time, you'll know I love SSDs. They just make everything better. Catchphrase. But anyway, they are really, really good. And there are a bunch of different reasons why you should have an SSD in your computer. If you look at computers today, almost everyone is moving toward SSDs. So take for example the MacBook Air and the MacBook Pro. Both of these now only come with an SSD. Same thing goes for Windows Ultrabooks. You're pretty much always going to find that they're going to come with an SSD as opposed to a normal hard drive. But before we get into all the reasons why, why don't we just take a look at what exactly an SSD is. SSD is short for a solid state drive. And this is another type of hard drive. Your computer sees it the exact same way. However, it functions in a very different way. More than likely, the computer you're using to watch this video right now is using a mechanical hard drive. Now this is basically a series of platters, almost like a DVD, although not really, but and it has a little arm that will read the data off of the disk. Now this is great. They have lots of storage and hard drives have been around for a very, very long time. When you take a look at an SSD, you'll see that it's just a series of flash memory chips. This is the very similar stuff to what you will find in an iPhone, an iPad, even in an SD card for your camera. Probably the biggest reason to go with an SSD is because of the speed. An SSD will be able to boot your computer in seconds as opposed to minutes. And applications will open almost instantly as opposed to waiting 10, 15, 20 seconds for Photoshop to open. And since there are no moving parts in an SSD, that means that it's going to be generally more reliable. So for example, if you have a laptop with a normal spinning hard drive right now, if you drop it or shake it around, there's a very good chance that something could happen and you could lose your data on the hard drive. Whereas with an SSD, it really doesn't matter. SSDs have been around for a while now. However, the biggest problem has just been price, as generally SSDs, for the amount of gigabytes you get, are just not going to compare with a normal hard drive. There are lots of SSDs out there, but some of my favorites include the Crucial M4. You can pick up a 128 gigabyte version of the M4 for $105, and if you want to step it up to 256 gigabytes, it's still only going to be $204. Another one of my favorite drives is the Samsung 830 series. Now this one's going to be a little bit more pricey, however especially if you're using a Mac I think it's really worth it. So for 128 gigabytes you can pick up for about $125 and for 256 gigabytes it's going to run you about $246. Now of course prices on these things are always changing and usually going down so I'll have links to the current prices of everything in the description of this video. Once you get your SSD I highly recommend downloading CCleaner. As usually you're only going to have 120 or 240 gigabytes of storage, every bit matters and it helps to get rid of all the kind of junk that's on your drive. That's exactly what CCleaner does, it will delete all kinds of random temporary files, well not random, just anything that's not necessary, same thing goes for system files that aren't being used, so lots and lots of programs will have unnecessary files that are just cluttering up your drive, and all the kind of normal things including your recycle bin, it allows you to easily uninstall programs, all that kind of stuff. Best of all, it's available for both Windows and Mac, and it's totally free. Overall, SSDs are awesome. I have one of both my laptop and desktop, and it really makes a huge difference. I don't care if you have the most powerful gaming PC in the world. If you're running it off of a normal hard drive, you're really missing out. I'm curious to know, what do you guys think? Do you use an SSD? If you do, let me know in the comments. I know a lot of people who look at SSDs and go, why do I want to pay this much more for this less storage? It doesn't, who cares? But it really, I'm very curious to know, do you guys think that the switch to an SSD was worth it? Because for me, worth it 100,000 million percent. Thousand million, it's a thing. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video, definitely be sure to leave it a thumbs up. And if you're interested in more videos like this, be sure to subscribe.